This goes out to all you losers out there who think you do have the freedom to choose your leaders. Wrong again. I remembered reading a line that Stalin once said, and those words were true then as they are now. It doesn't matter who cast the votes, but who counts them. And it's never been more true than it is today. It seems that the Republican Party, from the hierarchies down to your local governments, has already picked who they want. They pick Romney. Romney's their man. He's got their support. So this isn't the first time this has ever happened. And it probably won't be the last. I mean, I remembered back in the late 70s, when it came down to a liberty-minded fellow by the name of Ronald Reagan to a conservative blue blood, Gerald Ford. And to save the party, they made the choice. They chose Gerald Ford, giving a Jimmy Carter the lead he needed. Even though four years later Reagan did run and did win, it was too little too late. And it seems that it's going to be the same thing this go around. Just like it was back in 2008 when Ron Paul was having a strong run. But the delegates were not counted. Their voices were stifled in favor of John McCain. Who then what happened? Hmm. Very obvious. Obama won. And it looks like it's going to be the same thing this go around. It's going to happen like this, sheeple. They're trying their best to sway delegates from electing Ron Paul as the Republican challenger to Obama. The one man who has a chance to really do some strong changes. They don't want him. That's why they're using every dirty tactic. Because the RNC's hierarchy has already made the promise to Romney that this is your time. You are our John McCain. And we're standing behind you. They've already pretty much backed him up anyway. So it wouldn't matter that when the convention in about two more months happens, when they go to Florida, they're pretty much going to shut out anybody who's even close to Ron Paul. They're going to shut him out. I guess he's going to have to rent another auditorium to give another freedom speech because he won't be welcome there. And it is why the Republican Party are allegedly going after the big picture. They know a weak president means they got a chance at the House and the Senate. But what good would that be? When you got two of the same coin. When you got more Republicans voting Democrats than Democrats voting Democrats. It goes to make you wonder why we even need to vote at all when all we have to do is go to our leaders and they'll decide for us. Because remember, America, you're not smart enough, period, to vote. You just vote for what they tell you to vote for, and that is to send your sons and daughters to die for whatever they say. Just keep on accepting the bullshit. That's what they're telling you. Keep drinking the Kool-Aid. Or in this case, the fluoridated water. Because they're thinking for you. Remember, they know better.